Hi everyone, welcome to Word on Wednesday. Good to be with you today. We have a new setup here, so um, thanks to Todd, we've got a, a new microphone and a little mixer here, so we should be getting a much better uh, quality sound right now. So uh, thank you, Todd, for that, for setting this up here. I normally would face the other way towards the window, but uh, it, uh, there's something unusual happening today. The sun is shining. <laughs> <laughs> in Northwest Ohio so there you go it does it, it it is sunny here sometimes it might be cold but it's sunny I'm going to read a passage to you today it's a fairly well-known passage from John's Gospel chapter 5 and it says sometime later Jesus went up to Jerusalem for a feast of the Jews now there is in Jerusalem near the sheep gate a pool which in Aramaic is called Bethesda and which is surrounded by five covered colonnades. Here a great number of disabled people used to lie, the blind, the lame, the paralyzed. One who was there had been an invalid for f uh, 58 years, sorry, 38 years. Vision's not what it used to be. <laughs> 38 years. When Jesus saw him, lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time he asked him do you want to get well it seems to be a strange question doesn't it by jesus after being there all this time uh, sir the invalid replied i have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred while i am trying to get in someone else goes down ahead of me then Jesus said to him, get up, pick up your mat and walk. At once the man was cured. He picked up his mat and walked. This is an interesting passage. And I want you to notice today that this man had been trying for 38 years, trying to get healed, trying to be able to walk again. But it seemed like every time he tried, someone pipped him to the post and he was never able because he said, I've got no one to help me in. Well, sometimes it feels like in life, doesn't it? Like there's no one there to help you. You can be in a situation and you think, I'm all alone. No one's there to help me. No one's supporting me. No one's helping me get through this difficult time in my life. Well, sometimes we forget that Jesus is standing there because he says, I've got no one to help me, but then he's got Jesus standing right in front of him. And it's a good time to remember for all of us that even though sometimes it feels like there's no one helping us, no one there, Jesus could be standing there right in front of us saying, I'm here for you, I'll help you. Another thing I want you to notice about this passage, he'd been trying for so long, trying. And a lot of times that's what happens in our lives. We, we try so hard to fix things. We try so hard to um, get our lives organized and get things sorted out in our work life, in our spiritual lives, in our uh, friendship lives, in our, in our marriages. We're trying, trying, trying. Sometimes, you know, we don't, we need to stop trying and we need to start trusting. Stop trying, start trusting God. Sometimes we can just try, try and try and forget that we need to be trusting God through whatever situation we're going through. Because sometimes you and I know trying, trying, trying doesn't always work. Sometimes we just have to trust God with the situation we're facing because it's too difficult because we've been trying for a long time. But now comes the time where we have to trust God, trust him with our lives, trust him with what we're going through, trust him with, with a broken heart, trust him with a grieving soul, trust him with a loss that we've gone through. He knows the way that we take, right? And he's there with us today. So today, stop trying and start trusting. And remember that even though sometimes it feels like you've no one to help you, Jesus is standing there with you saying, come to me, all you who are weary, and I will give you rest. Good to be with you today. 
God bless you. Ruth and I will be back on Thursday with the chill pill. Bye for now.